Hey guys, uh, this is Dr. Ritam here and welcome to my channel uh, Wandering Doctor. Uh, so basically today's topic is um, one of the very commonest questions that is asked to me over phone sometime. Uh, why my child is crying so much and I'm not able to uh, stop my uh, child from crying and uh, what are the causes and why my child is crying. Is he really sick? So uh, this is very common what parents uh, face do it day to day. And uh, what normally happens is these are the calls what we normally get at uh, midnight being pediatricians. Uh, so I thought I'll uh, at least give you some idea about uh, how do we approach about an uh, excessively crying child. Uh, that can be newborn, that can be infant. Uh, so there are a few common things which I will discuss today. Uh, so the first thing what I want to tell you guys is uh, the first thing in uh, the first uh, few months of life. Uh, or in the infants, uh, what we normally see is basically though these uh, kids, uh, they have few discomfort which uh, make them cry. Uh, first thing is the commonest thing what we uh, the get is uh, baby is hungry. So if your baby is hungry, uh, then you need to feed the baby and then again uh, you can uh, wait for some time and see whether the baby is still crying or not. If you can actually stop your baby from crying uh, by giving feeds that means the baby was hungry so every two to three hours gap is what we normally follow to feed a newborn so you can follow that otherwise uh, the second thing what i want to tell is uh, second commonest thing is uh, colic uh, so normally babies have colic pain uh, this is basically because of the gaseous distension of the stomach and uh, they will have discomfort in the stomach which uh, makes them really irritable and they start crying uh, a lot at night so for that what basically you have to do is you try to burp your baby and uh, we normally prescribe a few medications which basically relieves uh, the gaseous distension and babies passes gas and stool and then they feel comfortable. Uh, so in this case if you feel it is colic then you might have to come to see uh, to ER right now and then we will tell you what has to be done and then we will examine your child. Uh, so another thing is very common uh, that is wet diaper. So the third point is wet diaper when the child uh, by chance has passed urine or stool and the diaper is wet and they get irritated when the diaper is wet. So you need to check that first uh, whether your baby is hungry, second thing if they are having some kind of colic pain or the, if their diapers are wet. So these three things are very common thing and one more thing I want to tell is uh, whether the child's uh, nose is blocked. Sometimes they will have nasal block which really uh, makes them irritable because they are not able to breathe, they try to breathe from mouth and then you try to feed the baby at the same time. So when you try to feed the baby at the same time, the nose and mouth both are blocked so they don't able to uh, breathe and then start crying excessively and they won't accept the feeds also. So in these situations what normally you do is uh, you try to put this uh, nasal drops, saline nasal drops what are available in the market, you can just use those nasal drops and it will actually uh, clear out the nasal passages which will make the baby comfortable and they will feed again they will feel comfortable and probably after feeding they will sleep up. Uh, so this is one thing and uh, another thing what we normally see is a uh, child may have uh, uh, excessive cry uh, because of uh, they are actually feeling bored or they are lonely. Sometime uh, they need your attention, they need your touch so pick up your child and uh, you can just uh, keep your child on the shoulder and rock the baby for some time and they might be feel comfortable and they want your touch and then they uh, fall asleep. So these are the basic things normally what we can uh, predict or you can see in child with excessive cry. Uh, so when uh, what are the danger signs when the child is uh, excessively crying? You have to know that uh, what we normally see is whether uh, we ask uh, the parents about whether the baby is, uh, is taking feeds or not, whether the baby has any kind of fever or anything, baby has passing urine or stool regularly or not. These are the basic things. If these things are okay, uh, then I think the second thing what uh, we can think is baby might have some kind of infection. So then you have to rule out infection and if there is any fever, there is irritability, baby is uh, crying excessively while passing urine, there might be UTI or urinary tract infection. So these things uh, you have to get evaluated and go to your nearby pediatrician and probably you need to talk to him and get your child evaluated and then we will tell you what exactly is happening. Uh, but nothing to worry, most of the time these are benign causes and 80 to 90 percent time it is just probably your baby is hungry or nose block or the colic pain which is very notorious at night and they will start. So how to soothe your babies, solve these problems 
and otherwise uh, try to keep the lights on at night for uh, the newborns uh, first one to uh, two or three months babies uh, because they get scared and uh, the vision is not fully developed so try to keep the light on and they don't get scared and they actually sleep very happily at night and as the growth happens more at night so babies are normally don't sleep at night uh, they will be sleeping more at daytime which uh, normally we see so these are the basic things what uh, i thought i will tell you guys today uh, and how to find out whether your baby is actually sick and why the baby is crying so much hopefully you guys understood these are the basic causes and uh, if you like my content uh, then uh, please like share and subscribe with your uh, family members and friends and uh, the probably would be mothers or would be parents uh, they'll be really happy to see uh, all this uh, informations so uh, thank you guys i'll uh, finish the video here and uh, if you have any queries please write in the comment section and uh, i'll come with uh, another video so uh, good night guys uh, from today uh, this is uh, the last uh, topic what i discussed and from tomorrow onwards i'll discuss some general topics what i actually thought so i'll update you guys again in the next video see you guys tata bye bye take care peace out